Now, before I get into this, I do want to establish the difference between a skin type and a skin subcondition. A skin type is the skin you are born with. It is something like it could be an oily skin, meaning you have blackheads all over your face, even around the ear and inside the ear. It could be an oily combination skin, which means your skin is more oily, less dry. It could be a, a combination dry, meaning more dry and a little oil like my skin. Or it could be a dry skin, meaning no blackheads anywhere on the face. Blackheads are oil. So these, this particular thing is called a skin type. And the only thing that changes with a skin type is that as you get older, oil glands can dry up a little bit. A subcondition are the things that we can change on our skin that are affected by the environment where we live, by medications that maybe you're taking or if you're using the wrong product. So the one the one subcondition I wanted to speak of today is surface dryness. And surface dryness is one of the biggest concerns I see in my business. I have been in skincare for 43, it'll be 44 years this year in um, May of 2022 that'll be 44 years so I've worked I've done over a hundred thousand facials and in all this time I've been working with clients the biggest thing I see that is an issue for all skin types even an oily skin is surface dryness when you have dryness on top and oiliness underneath and you, you don't necessarily have to have oiliness underneath but surface dryness can be on all skin types so if you were using a foaming cleanser that makes your skin feel tight and squeaky clean, that can be a culprit to surface dryness. If you're taking certain medications, particularly to do with the thyroid, that can make your skin really surface dry. If you're using things that are really stripping on your skin, like scrubs or strong alpha hydroxy acids and exfoliants that are just too drying on the surface of the skin, then that can be a culprit also for surface dryness. So it's really important that you understand surface dryness is not a positive to the skin, especially in oily skin. Surface dryness is a problem. It's a problem because it ages the skin prematurely. So when you have those really fine little lines and you see them around the eyes or you see them in certain areas on the face, it's very often just that the skin is very, very surface dry and, and it just needs hydration. So definitely surface dryness is a big problem. It's a problem whether you're a younger oily skin or you're an older oily skin, or if you're a drier skin. Surface dryness will always stop oil from getting out. So if you have congestion bumps on your face, then that will be locked inside because dryness on top doesn't allow anything to get out. It also does not allow treatment products and serums to get in. So it's, it's just a problem all, all round. Sometimes if you're using, you know, if you're showering a lot, if you're using really hot water on your skin, that can make your skin surface dry. So different products, as I said, that are very um, stripping, that are very strong, even retinoids, which we love our retinol, retinoids and our retinols. But if you're using a really strong retinol and it's prescription strength in particular, it can make the skin surface dry and that can be a problem. So that's why we always wanna keep the skin soft and supple. You don't want dryness on the skin. If you're using something strong like a retinol, you need to be putting a treatment product over top so you are not experiencing surface dryness. So surface dryness is a problem, as I said, it's a problem if you're oily, because oil cannot get out. It's a problem if you have congestion. Um, it's a problem if you're drier. So what's important is use a cleanser that is soft, that keeps your skin soft and supple, that doesn't strip your skin. Your cleanser should be cleansing on your skin, do a really good job of cleaning, but it needs to keep your skin soft and supple. That's very, very important. Clean, but soft and supple. And the other things, you know, if you're using um, scrubs, maybe you want to use one that has more of a buffing effect on the epidermis. It's what we call a surface regenerative. 
that will get rid of surface dryness but leave a buffing effect so the skin looks really pretty that's important so as I said you don't want to have a surface dry skin it is a problem it's a problem for getting you know treatment serums into your face and moisturizers as well as allowing the skin just to breathe it, it doesn't actually breathe but it but I use that term because the skin you know we want to allow things to come out and for things to get in that are important to the skin so do be conscious of this make sure that you can feel you've got something on your skin if you are somebody with a drier skin you are more prone to dryness all you know all layers of the skin then make sure that the moisturizer you're using is more opaque you know in that it has has more occlusiveness with it it maybe it has allantoine it has shea butter it has sumer extract it has glycerin it has hyaluronic acid you want to make sure that your treatment products really offer protection and especially in the winter months which is what we're in right now when it's colder your skin tends to be more drier when it's windy it gets dry so keep that outer layer soft and supple keep a layer on it that protects the skin and for an oily skin you still want to make sure you're using a moisturizer don't go stripping the skin too much and drying it out just keep your cleanser again to be cleansing but keep the skin soft and supple don't let it feel tight and squeaky clean because that's a problem so just make sure that you're protecting your skin that you're using the right cleanser on your skin and that's going to help prevent surface dryness We'll be back next Monday to talk about subcondition number two. Until then, have a beautiful week and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.